Hello YouTube, I'm Jean and welcome to Crypto Pigs. So first, I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers to my channel. I appreciate the love and the support. Also, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Again, I appreciate all you guys. So today I'm going to talk about the SegWit fork, how this fork affects us and what I'm personally going to be doing with my money. So to start it off, what is SegWit 2X? It is a modification of the Bitcoin software run by network participants that enforces the protocol rules. It's an attempt to increase the block size from one megabyte to two megabytes. And it's also a hard fork, meaning anyone whose software is out of date with the new rules will no longer be part of the network, meaning those who stick with the current Bitcoin rules. So what is SegWit's goal? They want to keep all Bitcoin existing users on one blockchain. And we have three different outcomes that can come with this. First, Bitcoin's rules change and most miners upgrade their software and Bitcoin blockchain functions normally but with larger blocks. So the SegWit rules become the rules for Bitcoin. Second, two Bitcoins are created. This would be similar to Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin Gold, meaning some miners upgrade their software, creating two blockchains, a legacy Bitcoin and a SegWit 2x Bitcoin, both with different rules and both with their own cryptocurrency. Third would mean there'd be no significant miners running the new software and Bitcoin continues with its current rules. So let's talk a little more about the SegWit fork. Bitcoin has been reaching its limit in terms of block size. And in August this year, the Bitcoin core devs implemented SegWit on the Bitcoin blockchain, making the platform faster and more scalable. Basically works by separating the transaction data from the signature data, packing up to four times as many transactions per block. It also allows for future upgrades to the network. So the next point I want to look at is SegWit even important or will it just be like Bitcoin gold? Well, we had the New York agreement and this was signed by a large number of Bitcoin companies and by miners representing over 80% of Bitcoin hash power. This plan calls for the activation of SegWit leading to the hard fork we have coming on November 16th, doubling the block size. So that's pretty much the SegWit fork that we are about to experience. And I know it's a lot of information. At least now, you know, the next point I'm about to talk about and why I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. So with all that information, you're thinking, what do I do? Do I keep my money in the altcoins or do I throw it in Bitcoin and hopefully somehow come out on top? Well, I can tell you what I'm going to do. I sold every altcoin I have that is at least close to a break even point. Everything else that is significantly down, such as Stratus and pay, I'm not trying to lose that much money. So you don't lose until you sell. <laughs> if you check out the alts today, which I'm sure most of you had, they are dipping so hard. I don't know if I've seen alts dip this hard ever. I expect this dip to continue until the fork. And as you saw or heard, this isn't some scam fork. This one actually means something and this one actually has value. So people are wanting to buy the Bitcoin until this happened. So the question is, do you buy altcoins right before the fork? Or or do you hold it and get the fork coin? This is where I say it depends. If you have a significant amount of Bitcoin, then holding it into the fork could definitely be just beneficial. While if you have a portfolio that is small, then jumping on alts that are super duper low could really help you multiply your investment. And then this leads me to my final talking point. If you plan on buying right before the fork, which is what I'm going to do, then you want to probably jump into the coins that are less risky and most likely double your investment. I have three coins that I'm going to be watching. And if they hit a certain point, I will jump into first is BQX. This coin easily jumps to $1 with the support of the community, especially when they have big news. If this coin hits under 50 cents or around 7,800 sats, then I plan to put a significant amount of money into this. Like I said, the community is huge on this coin and they love it. So when there is news coming, which there is news coming super soon, this coin should jump well over a dollar. Therefore, if it hits 50 cents, you should easily be able to times two your investment. My next coin is OMG or Omisigo. If this hits under $5, then I definitely plan on putting a lot of money in. Everyone knows this coin. It's one of the, the big dogs and it has really plummeted hard. 
It's one of those altcoins that once they rebound, this one always seems to rebound first and push hard. So if it hits 71,000 sats, around $5, then I'm definitely jumping in. Should be an easy times two. Now my final coin, I don't feel is as safe as the first two. This one is gas. If gas hits around nine or $10 or, or lower, then I fully expect you to easily double your money. And in terms of sats, I think this is like one third less of the sats than it was in October, which is crazy. And of course, we know this is tied to NEO. And then once China FUDs over, hopefully this one will just skyrocket. So those are my three coins that I'm going to be watching while this fork is taking place. And I fully expect them to dip to that price I mentioned, if not lower. And as I said, I sold out on my alts that were close to break even to take advantage of this huge drop in price. Now, if the, if the coins were to drop super early, let's say two days from now, I would wait. And that's just because there's a huge possibility that the closer to the fork happens, the, the lower these coins are going to get. So tell me what are your plans? Are you going to sell your alts or are you just going to hold yours in the red? I find this to be a very interesting time in crypto right now. There's huge gains to be made in the near future. And I'm sure we're going to look back at these prices and wish we had a lot more money to spend right now. Also, what do you think of this upcoming SegWit fork? Do you think the miners are going to go to the Bitcoin, to the SegWit, or just, or just split? What do you think? I want to thank you for watching my video. Remember to research and invest wisely. Also, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button right here. I'll see you next time.